For years, you've been told, skip meals to trigger autophagy, fast for 24 hours, go hungry, feel weak, because that's the only way to activate your body's cellular cleanup system. But a study published in December 2023 by researchers at Maastricht University has turned this belief upside down. And if you're over 60 trying to maintain muscle while getting autophagy benefits, this discovery could change everything. The study appeared in Cell Reports Medicine, one of the most respected medical journals. Researchers found that people who consumed 100 grams of protein in a single meal still showed active autophagy markers. The cellular cleanup didn't stop. This means you might not have to choose between building muscle and triggering autophagy anymore. Before we go deeper into this research, I want to connect with you personally. If this is your first time here, welcome to our community focused on evidence-based health information for people over 60. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our upcoming videos on natural health strategies that actually work. And here's something I'm curious about. Drop a comment below telling me what country you're watching from. We have viewers from all over the world, and I genuinely want to know where you are. It helps me understand our community better. I'm not gonna promise you a miracle cure or tell you this will reverse aging overnight. What I'm sharing comes from peer-reviewed research conducted at Maastricht University Medical Center. Lead researchers Jorn Trommelin and Luke Van Loon published their findings in Cell Reports Medicine on December 19, 2023. This study used advanced isotope tracers to track what happens when people consume different amounts of protein after exercise. They compared 25 grams versus 100 grams of protein in a single meal. The discovery, consuming 100 grams of protein, resulted in prolonged muscle building without compromising whole body protein breakdown, without disrupting mTOR signaling, and without compromising autophagy markers. Even with massive protein intake, autophagy markers stayed active. If you're over 60 and you've been struggling with this exact problem, trying to maintain your muscle mass while also trying to fast long enough to get autophagy benefits, this information is specifically for you. Your body needs different things now than it did when you were 30. You need protein to prevent muscle loss. You need autophagy to keep your cells healthy and clean. And until now, every expert told you that you couldn't have both at the same time but your body is more intelligent than we gave it credit for. Let me explain what autophagy actually is in terms anyone can understand. Think of autophagy as your body's recycling program. Every day, parts of your cells get old, damaged, or worn out. Autophagy is the process where your cells collect all this old material, break it down, and either recycle the useful parts or throw away the toxic waste. This process becomes even more important as you age. It's how your body removes damaged proteins, clears out malfunctioning components, and keeps your cells running smoothly. Now, here's where the old science came in and made everything confusing. For decades, researchers believed that eating protein would completely shut down autophagy. They thought autophagy and muscle building were complete opposites, like trying to drive forward and backward at the same time. When you eat protein, your body activates something called MTOR. Think of MTOR as your growth switch. When it's turned on, you build muscle and repair tissue. That's good for strength and staying active. Autophagy, on the other hand, happens when you're not eating. It's associated with deficit states, fasting, caloric restriction, exercise stress. When you're in this state, your body says, okay, no food is coming in, time to clean house and recycle what we have. The science was straightforward. MTOR and autophagy don't work together. When one is active, the other shuts down. Researchers even had studies on mice showing that when they gave the mice protein shakes, MTOR levels increased and autophagy stopped completely. So the message became simple. Want autophagy? Stop eating. Want to build muscle? Eat protein. Pick one. Here is what happens inside your cells when autophagy starts and why everyone believed protein would stop it. 
Autophagy kicks in when your body activates a specific cellular pathway. This pathway forms a team of proteins that work together to start cleanup. This cleanup crew only assembles when your body experiences stress. Exercise creates stress. Fasting creates stress. These stresses tell your body to activate the cleanup crew. When you eat protein, it activates MTOR. MTOR locks up one of the key team members needed for autophagy. The team can't form properly, and autophagy can't happen. This is why everyone believed eating protein would completely prevent autophagy. But the Maastricht University study changed everything. The researchers didn't just look at muscle growth. They also measured autophagy markers throughout the 12-hour period after protein consumption. Participants who consumed 100 grams of protein, that's roughly the amount in a large chicken breast plus a protein shake, showed increased muscle protein synthesis for more than 12 hours. Their bodies didn't waste the protein, they used it efficiently to build and repair muscle. But here's the critical finding that almost nobody is discussing. The study specifically stated that this large protein intake resulted in prolonged anabolism without compromising whole body protein breakdown rates, muscle mTOR signaling, or markers of muscle autophagy. Even with 100 grams of protein, the autophagy markers remained active. The cellular cleanup process continued running alongside muscle building processes. This was completely unexpected based on previous understanding. Before you start eating massive amounts of protein, there's something important you need to understand. This study looked at lean, healthy individuals, not overweight, not obese. Research shows that if you're significantly overweight, your autophagy system doesn't function efficiently. A comprehensive review in Internal and Emergency Medicine 2024 found that obesity causes autophagy dysfunction. In overweight individuals, autophagy genes can be elevated. Your body is trying to activate cleanup, but actual autophagy rates in cells, especially fat cells, don't change much. It's like a car starter cranking but the engine not turning on. The autophagy machinery is trying to work but not functioning efficiently. Research in Current Obesity Reports 2025 explains that obesity disrupts lysosomal function, the final step where cellular waste gets broken down. Without proper lysosomal function, autophagy can't complete its job. This should be encouraging. It gives you a powerful reason to improve your metabolic health. Once you improve body composition, your autophagy system can function properly. So why didn't proteins stop autophagy in the healthy individuals in the Maastricht study? Because when you're metabolically healthy, when your body composition is good, when you don't have excess inflammation, autophagy is a powerful enough force that moderate protein intake isn't strong enough to shut it down completely. The stress signal from exercise or caloric deficit is stronger than the growth signal from protein. The autophagy current keeps flowing, even with protein in the system. Think of it like a strong river current. A small rock might create a tiny ripple, but it doesn't stop the water from flowing. In this case, protein is like that small rock, and the autophagy process is the strong river current. Here's what metabolically healthy people over 60 who maintain both muscle mass and get autophagy benefits typically do. They don't starve themselves for days on end feeling weak and miserable. They don't avoid protein out of fear they'll shut down autophagy. Instead, they focus on being metabolically healthy. They maintain reasonable body composition. They exercise regularly, which, by the way, research shows is one of the most powerful triggers for autophagy. A study published in the journal Autophagy found that exercise induces autophagy in the brain. Other research in PMC journals shows that exercise activates autophagy through multiple pathways in skeletal muscle, heart tissue, and other organs. And here's something most people don't realize. Exercise might be even more effective at triggering autophagy than fasting alone. Exercise creates the metabolic stress your body needs to activate cellular cleanup, while also building strength and maintaining muscle mass. 
Healthy individuals eat adequate amounts of lean protein. They understand that maintaining muscle mass is essential for healthy aging, and they trust that their metabolically healthy bodies can handle both muscle building and cellular repair simultaneously. So what should you actually do with this information? First, if you're carrying excess weight, your priority should be improving your body composition. Use lean protein to keep you feeling full so you can lose weight without losing muscle mass. Research consistently shows that higher protein intake helps with satiety and muscle preservation during weight loss. The Maastricht study found that people could consume up to 100 grams of protein in one meal and still use it efficiently. While there's probably an upper limit somewhere, the research suggests you can eat substantially more protein per meal than previously thought. Second, if you're already at a healthy weight, you can confidently include protein after workouts or at the end of fasting periods without worrying that you're completely stopping autophagy. Here are the best protein sources to focus on. Lean chicken breast, turkey, white fish like cod or halibut, lean tuna, high-quality protein shakes, egg whites, and lean cuts of meat. Notice I'm not suggesting fatty cuts of meat. The focus here is on lean protein, getting the amino acids your body needs without excessive calories from fat. And don't forget about exercise. Research published in multiple peer-reviewed journals shows that physical activity triggers autophagy through cellular energy-sensing pathways. A 2025 study in Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience explains that exercise activates autophagy through the AMPK-ULK1 mTOR pathway, promoting autophagy-related protein expression. Even moderate intensity exercise, walking, resistance training, swimming, creates enough metabolic stress to activate your body's cellular cleanup processes. So if you're trying to maximize autophagy, don't just focus on when you eat or don't eat. Focus on regular physical activity. Exercise gives you autophagy benefits while also building strength, improving balance, and maintaining independence. This research is freeing because it means you're not trapped in an either-or situation anymore. You don't have to choose between maintaining your muscle and getting cellular repair benefits. You don't have to fast until you're dizzy and weak. You don't have to avoid protein because you're scared of shutting down your body's cleanup system. Your body is smarter and more adaptable than we understood. What this research tells us is that metabolic health is the foundation of everything. When you're metabolically healthy, when you maintain reasonable body composition, exercise regularly, and fuel your body with quality nutrition, your body's systems work in harmony. Autophagy doesn't just shut off the moment protein touches your lips. Muscle building doesn't prevent cellular cleanup. Your body can handle both processes simultaneously when it's functioning the way it should. This is why focusing on overall health matters more than obsessing over individual mechanisms or trying to perfectly time every meal. Get your body composition to a healthy range, move regularly, and challenge your muscles. Eat real, lean protein sources, and trust your body to do what it's designed to do. If you've been feeling tired or weak because you were fasting excessively trying to get autophagy benefits, this is your permission to eat quality protein. If you've been worried about losing muscle mass because you thought you had to fast to stay healthy, you can stop worrying now. Eat lean protein, build your strength, maintain your muscle mass, exercise regularly. Your body can handle the rest. The research is clear. In metabolically healthy individuals, protein intake doesn't stop autophagy the way we once believed. And that means you can focus on being strong, vital, and healthy well into your later years without sacrificing one benefit for another. If this information helped you understand autophagy and protein in a new way, please type yes in the comments below. Let me know this was valuable to you. And if you know someone, maybe a parent, a friend, or a family member who's been confused about fasting and protein, share this video with them. The science is changing, and people deserve to have accurate, up-to-date information about their health. 
If you want more evidence-based health information specifically for people over 60, hit that subscribe button. We're committed to bringing you research-backed content without hype, without false promises, and without trying to sell you expensive supplements. Take care of yourself, feed your body the protein it needs, stay active, and trust that your body knows how to take care of itself when you give it the right support. I'll see you in the next video.